Pegwood here, and today I'm interviewing Mr. Army Hammer, who plays the star of The Lone Ranger. Uh, okay, so uh, hello, Mr. Hammer. Um, thank you for your time. Thanks for taking the time out. And my, uh, well, my first question to you is, how is it playing The Lone Ranger? Or, yeah, Ranger. Lone Ranger, because it's it's an amazing project, first of all, and it's with an, with an oh, amazing, amazing cast and crew and everybody involved well, think, is just really, yeah. top of their game, which is fantastic to get to be a part of something like oh, that. Yeah, they are. Definitely, definitely. So uh, now my second question is, is uh, how does this whole venture begin? Now, don't give us like you know the whole movie because I'll be kind of stupid. Just, just, just summarize a little bit of, of what, of what the story's about, if you can, please. On again. Meet the same way they did in the first episode of the TV show. There's uh, oh, yeah, the an TV Indian show, scout yeah. who's out patrolling, and he comes across a bunch of dead yeah. rangers. He thinks they're all dead. Oh. And starts to bury them and you know give them their last rites and all that. Cool. And uh, and then um, and then one of them turns out to actually be alive, and he kind of nurses the guy back to health because of uh, okay. because of the the spirits basically I, I show time right. to don't, like don't this guy no nurse him back like this is going to be a warrior, so he does it, and, uh, and it turns out to be you know John Reed, the kind of like a bumbling fool who has to find his way in like the the West. Oh. You know, it's not okay. it's not. Okay. It's not in his grain, like it's not in his blood to kind of mm -hmm. jump on a horse and grab a gun and just run off into Indian yep. territory. Like that's that's against his nature. So it's sort of he has to learn yeah. to become the Lone Ranger, and you kind of see that yep. process. Okay, so I asked you for a little summarization, and you gave me the whole movie. People, we just saved you a whole bunch of money. Now you don't gotta go see the movie. Okay, so uh, now my next question is, um, let me see. I have those squinty eyes. Can't really read. Uh, so, okay, Mr. Emma, uh, who has left their mark? Are, are we serious with these questions? Who's writing these questions? Who has left their mark on the movie? It's a movie. No one's thinking cares. All right, Army, just just answer the question so these, so these people can get off my back. Just answer it. This movie has Gore and Jerry's fingerprints Wait, when, all when did we switch backgrounds? Partially what, what because the? of the size, partially because of... You know, having to get it made Wait, and you know, the elements involved. One of the best crews I've ever worked with in my life that they've, you know, uh, been with for years. And um, yeah. I, I don't think that there are many people out there that could really wield a movie this size. But we I kept the two best guys at it, which was great. Okay, so now my hope to God final and last question is: uh, Okay, so here's the deal. We had uh, Captain Jack on our show like a couple weeks ago. And, you know, before he had his little meltdown and anger issue, he told us that, you know, uh, he was the real star of the movie. He didn't like working with you at all. And so we, we just wanted to get your opinion. You know, how, how was it working with uh, Mr. Johnny Depp? How, how was it? In the middle of the desert for six you months know? together making a movie. And that, I mean, that pretty much did it. There were no strangers. Oh, well, well that sounds like it finished. sucks. Uh, but no, we had, we had a lot of meals together. We'd play the guitar together, mm. just talk and mm. just have kind of have fun. And, Ooh. Everybody likes watching people have fun and have a good time, so we tried to do that. That sounds really different from what he said. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, well, hey, no. At least you're telling the truth. I, I think he's a liar. I think he's just a, a diva at times. But anyway, well, Mr. Armor Hammer. Wait. Armor Hammer? Armor Haha. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Are, are you named after that, that, that brand? That. Oh, oh, oh. So I guess you're not one for joking. Okay. Anyway, everyone, this has been Pigwood with the most awkwardest and maybe stupid questions ever in an interview. But uh, hope you have enjoyed it, and uh, I guess we'll see you later. Bye bye. Like and subscribe, and maybe you will get a high five. Sam, sister Sam the Ham, Sam, sister Sam the Ham, sister Sam the Ham.